What's going on guys? I'm Paul from Simplified Handles and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down some of my toughest one-on-one -on -one basketball moves. Before we get started though, I wanna announce a giveaway that we're having on our channel. If you guys are interested in winning a pair of Air Jordans, then stay tuned till the end of this video to get more details on how you can enter. That being said, let's get started. Guys, the first move we're gonna break down is the rocker step. Whether I'm playing one-on-one -on -one or five-on-five, -five, it's one of my favorite go-to moves off the triple threat. So with the rocker step, what we're trying to sell and fake to the defender is that we're taking a hard jab step and then driving left. But what we're actually doing is we're taking that hard jab step to the right, faking that left drive, and then coming back to the right for the blow by. Now let's break down the rocker step. There's three important things to note here. It's first the jab step, the movement of the ball on your head and your shoulders, and thirdly is shifting your weight. So first thing for the jab step, what we're doing here, we're catching the ball off the triple threat. We wanna take a hard jab step. This jab step should be outside of your defender's frame to really sell like you're about to drive. And you wanna be in this wide position to be as explosive as possible. Now the second thing to note is the movement of the ball and your head and shoulders. So as I take this jab step, I'm bringing the ball inside of my knee, or I like to tuck it at my waist if I know the defender has quick hands. Now for the shimmy or the rock, what I'm doing here is I'm shifting the ball back to the left side and then back to my right side. And as we bring the ball back from the right to the left, I don't like to make this movement too wide. So I just bring the ball right around the center line of my body and then back to my right for the drive by. For your head and shoulders throughout this entire move, you're following the ball. So if, I, if the ball's on the right side, my head and shoulders are on the right side. Same thing as I go to my left and then back to my right. Now the third and final point is shifting your weight. What you wanna do here is as you take that jab step, I'm loading all of my weight or the majority of my weight on my front foot. As I shimmy and rock the defender, I'm loading, I'm loading some of that weight back to my back foot and then back to the right for the blow by. So it's important to shift your weight because that's what really adds some swag and sauce to the move. So as I'm shifting my weight, it's really what keeps the defender on edge and you know, kind of jumping and guessing on what to do. So now let's put that all together and see that in game speed. So here, let's say, catch the ball off the triple threat for the blow by. Let's do that one more time. Try to keep note of the three things I mentioned, the jab step, the movement of the ball in my head and shoulders, and me shifting my weight. Catching the ball here for the blow by. All right guys, so the next move we're gonna be breaking down is the behind the back wraparound. It's one of John Wall's signature moves that he likes to use in the open floor, but I think it's a great one-on-one -on -one move if you're able to set it up effectively. So to start this move, we're gonna start by selling that drive. So as we dribble the ball, and as the ball is in the air, we wanna take a hard left and right step while dipping our shoulders to really sell that drive. So it looks something like this. So now as we take that left and right step, what we wanna do with the basketball is, as we're landing on our right foot, we wanna do a pound dribble at the same time. So it looks something like this. Let me do that one more time for you guys. So now after we take that pound dribble, this is where things get a little tricky. There's gonna be a lot happening at once, so just bear with me and follow me guys. So after we take that pound dribble, we're gonna plant our left foot in front of us and as we plant this foot, we wanna start bringing the ball behind our back. And now as we bring the ball back to the front of our body, we're bringing our right foot across our body as the first step of our layup. And then we're gonna finish off the left foot and with the left hand. So let me reiterate that again. So off that pound dribble, planting this foot, bring the ball behind our back, bring this right foot across and then finishing off the left hand and the left foot. So now let's put that all together and see that in game speed. The 
next move is a between the leg low crossover. Let's say the game's on the line, my team needs a bucket, this is my go-to move. It's effective for two different reasons, a change of level and a change of speed. So we're gonna start this move off with two between the leg dribbles. And you wanna note, you wanna stand up tall, chest high, and you wanna take these dribbles very slow to put the defender to sleep. So two between the leg dribbles. And off that second between the leg, this is where we're dropping levels and accelerating the speed. So off that second between the leg dribble, what we wanna do here is we wanna take a skip step with our left foot to the side to get down for our crossover. So it looks something like this. Off that second between the leg, we're taking that skip step for the crossover. Let me show you guys that one more time. So two between the leg dribbles very slowly and then taking that skip step for the crossover. On that crossover, as always, you wanna drop really low, dip your shoulders to really sell that drive. Now let's put that all together and see that in game speed. The next move is a move that's recently grown in a lot of popularity, and that's the scissor step crossover. It's really important to keep note of two things, rhythm and change of speed. So to start this move, we're gonna be in the live dribble. As we take a dribble, we're gonna bring up our, we're gonna bring up our foot at the same time. It's really important to note the rhythm of this. It's our foot going up at the same time as we drop that ball. I think I see a lot of players make the mistake of taking that dribble first, and then bringing up our foot, or then bringing up their foot first and then taking that dribble. So it's really important to note that you wanna take that dribble at the same time as you lift your foot. Now for the scissor part of the move, what we're doing here is as we have our, as we have our foot hanging in the air, what we wanna do is we wanna bring this foot backwards while bringing this foot forward. And you want this foot to land first. So it'll look like that. So once again, as we take that dribble and our foot is hanging in the air, we're bringing this foot backwards and then landing like this. And as we're in this position, what I like to do, dropping my shoulders, is to hit the defender with the crossover, either for the pull-up or for the drive. So let me show you guys that again. We're taking that dribble, hanging our foot, dropping low for the crossover, and then you know pull up or attacking the basket. So now let's put that all together and see that in game speed. is another favorite off the triple threat. It's a jab cross step into the shot hesitation. It's a combination I like to have fun with my defenders and make them look silly. So to start this move, we're gonna start with a jab cross step. So catching the ball in the triple threat, what we're doing here is we're taking a hard jab step and then we're crossing the ball across our body while also following that with our right foot coming across. Now there's two important things to note. First, the movement of the ball. As we take that jab step, we're bringing the ball down at the same time and to get into that cross, I kind of like to round the motion to bring that ball across. Now, the second thing to note here is the transfer of our weight. So as I take that hard jab step, majority of my weight is loaded on this right foot. Now to bring my right foot across my body, I'm retransferring my weight to my left foot so I can bring that right foot across. So let's put that together. So I'm taking that hard jab step, rounding the ball, retransferring my weight, and then bringing it across. Now for the shot hesitation. So we take that jab step, we're across, now we're in this position. So from here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna replant our left foot. As we replant this foot, this is where we're gonna do the shot hesitation. We're loading our weight on that back foot, and as we load our weight on that back foot, we're bringing eyes to the rim, right hand to the ball to really sell that shot fake, and then we're gonna drive to the basket. So let me do that again for you guys. Taking that hard jab step, rounding the motion of the ball, transferring our weight, coming on this side, and now we're gonna replant our left foot, sell that shot as we load our weight on our back foot, and then attacking the basket. Now let's see that all in game speed.
I thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and you guys are able to add some of these moves to your game. Now for the giveaway. If you guys want a chance to win the Royal Toe Ones, I need you guys to do three simple things. First, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at simplified underscore handles. The second thing I need you guys to do is like this video and comment down below which of the moves was your favorite. Third and final thing, on Instagram, go to our giveaway post and tag three friends that don't yet know about this channel. Our goal by the end of this year is to reach a thousand subscribers. So, you know, partner along with us and be in this journey for us to get there. All right, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.